Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm um, back with new decor today. And thank you, Dollar Tree. Again, Dollar Tree. If you need to find stuff, Dollar Tree is the place to go for decor on a budget because it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. What can I say? I don't usually do decor other than, um, you know, right around the winter holidays. And they just have so much fun stuff that I'm like, yeah, I want more. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got Valentine's Day and we got, uh, we got Easter. We got all the good stuff. Let's just keep on doing it. So, um, yeah, I'm enjoying the Dollar, Dollar Tree decor. And, um... Let's see, other than that, I um, have a couple of uh, clarifications, actually. I had gone ahead and gotten the Maybelline Super Stay Plus Vitamin C 24-Hour Skin Tint. I got mine in 102, and I really wanted to try it on last night, so I tried it on. I did a video with it. Um, I actually used um, I had already taken off my makeup, though, when I decided to try to on and do the video. And so I had on the Beauty Bay 5% Squalane Hyaluronic Acid and Polyglutonic Acid. And it's an overnight balm. Feels a lot like um, Vaseline uh, when it comes out, except for that it's a little, a little thinner than Vaseline. And as far as wearing at night, to go ahead and lock all your moisturizers in, or moisturizers in. This is a really good product. The problem was that it wasn't a good product to have under this, and. Um, so my first impression, I was thinking that it was more of a really light, uh, where you couldn't even build it to medium kind of tint, and it isn't. It very much has a dry down, and it very much can be uh, built up to medium. And so yesterday, like I said, I had this on, and it really affected the way that this went on and I didn't realize it till today when I had my regular skincare on and I applied this over it and I'm just like oh this is a medium it's not a light tint it actually has some coverage and it's staying on and you know all the good stuff so again um, this is definitely more of a medium kind of coverage kind of product I still don't see any I don't see much of a glow at all with this product I see it in the bottle I can see there's some shimmer in here but when it gets to my face on it's not even really showing it glowy um, some of the other products that I have on are glowy and so I can see that they're glowy but I'm not seeing anything as far as glow from this one um, but so far I'm liking the formula and yeah I'm it just isn't what I expected I expected glowy maybe a little greasy kind of and that's not what I'm getting so um, other than that moving on to what else I have on the face uh, I did go ahead and watch some YouTube videos of some of um, yeah, some of the reviews of this uh, e.l.f. and this is the liquid blush. I have mine in the um, Dusty Rose shade and it's not Dusty Rose. I have it on right now and it's more of a peachy coral kind of shade and so um, like I said I went and I watched some reviews on this definitely saw some other creators who went ahead and tried on the whole line and definitely talking about how this dusty road shade or dusty rose shade definitely isn't is sort of the dud of the bunch and I picked it up, great, right, huh? So, um, yeah, it definitely isn't the shade. Um, with these, what I'm finding is that they're an awful lot like the Rare Beauty in that you put one dot on and you blend it out, and it does stay. In fact, I still have a little bit of a stain 
from the video that I did last night and I took a shower this morning and this still didn't come off so if you want something that's gonna stick around you might really want to think about these um, yeah I think I'm gonna get a different shade and go ahead and see maybe if I can get something that's a little bit more like what I was trying to get and so um, but this shade isn't bad I mean it's a coral and um, it works it stays it has steam uh, power and it definitely has a sheen to it and I did put some of the master chrome this is in the molten peach on top of it as far as a highlighter and this almost it, it's almost exactly the same color except for that this one has a high shine to it but really they're just about the same color and um, so this definitely isn't a dusty rose color um, but from what I could see on the other um, reviews the other colors didn't have that problem and were true to uh, their names so I had that and um, so I definitely think I'll be exchanging this I usually don't do that with makeup but in this case I think I probably will have the Super Stay Matte Ink by Maybelline in 70 and then I did go ahead and get one of the elf oils or lip oils and these are really plush and they give you yeah they feel good they feel really good they have a lot to them they're not just like one of those oils that feels like a cooking oil and you put it across your lips and it just soaks in and it's gone and you're like well okay so this is what these two are looking like together did go ahead and use the essence uh, thick and wow and caramel blonde for the brows and I did pick up another one of the ColourPop pretty fresh uh, concealers this one's in shade 10 I was wearing shade 7 forever and ever and ever but I can't find that one now and it's very convenient to be able to go and pick something up at Target and 10 will do just fine so yeah um, as far as what I did for the eyes today I got out the cloud 9 palette by um, Colourpop and this one came out in the fall and I kind of wanted to see how much color I could get into a look with this one and so I started with this shade over here in my crease and then I used this shade on the outer corner did use uh, some of this on the inner corner and then I used the white which is the white shimmer um, from the bottom up to the eyebrow there and then on the outer corner as well I put uh, some of the gray here and I did put a little bit of the pink here um, right right in the middle part of the lid right there on the inner corner as well so the inner corner has uh, this white one and the pink one on there and a little bit of the blue one as well so um, that's kind of how I or what I did and then I used the Amrite gel eyeliner as far as the eyeliner on this and um, the other one of the other new products I picked up was the elf lash extender and so I had that on as well this way that the look came out so yeah um, this is a palette that runs really light but I think for winter um, and doing winter looks where you want to give yourself a little bit of a well this uh, yeah this definitely brightens your eye kind of look and this is the kind of palette that will do looks that will brighten your eye because they are they just um, have a lot of pearl and a lot of shimmer in them um, but they don't have a lot of pigment so yeah if you want to brighten up your look or you want to do you know some winter looks that are going to brighten your eye up a lot um, this is definitely one palette that will go ahead and do that for you and I did go ahead and use my Better Glow by Physicians Formula for my setting powder today 
and it's a baked one. Uh, this is actually a repurchase. I've already gone through one of them and this was a new product in 2023 and I'm really enjoying using the poofs with it. Um, I think it sets everything down and gives it a little bit of a glow and it's nice on an everyday kind of basis. It does have a little bit more green than what I remember my first one, um, the first one I had having, but uh, green is supposed to cancel out red. So if you do have some rosacea going on or some breakouts and you want to hide some red, this might be a good powder um, because like I said, it does have green in it and that does cancel out red. On the color wheel, anyway, that's how it works. So, um, other than that, I use the Milani uh, Make a Dewy. Uh, this I had in my stash. I thought I was going to have to replace setting sprays again, but I didn't have to do that. Uh, just like I said, new products and trying to figure out how they work and new decor. And I don't think I've ever had. <laughs> um, Valentine's Day decor so that, that was kind of fun to find that and um, Dollar Tree thank you thank you thank you and I think that's just about all that I have for today so um, thank you and have a great day bye